Okay, so we're gonna remove a uh, wedge bolt here. We're using gear handles, uh, homemade tool. So, like any time that we remove any uh, wedge bolt, we use a spinner tool first to try and uh, loosen up the bolt, but also score the cone itself to, to make it easier to pull it out. So, first, uh, I've already kind of done this quite a bit, but we spin. Once we know that we've kind of scored that, we can remove the drill. Where's your device? Oh yeah, right here. Okay, so we have a washer out here more than anything else to protect the aluminum. This guy is just screwed on. All these pieces can be purchased and assembled. There is no machining to do this. So we put this guy right on here. Screw a nut down. And you said all the parts are available as is, no customization. No machine, no machining at all. It's all off the shelf or sort of counter, basically. Move your left arm gear. Your other left arm. Yeah. This also is a little faster than using the Green League. The Green League only has one inch of throw, so you have to constantly release the hydraulic um, on a Green League, add another spacer and things like that. This obviously will just keep going until this guy's out of here. What could go wrong uh, if you're like going with this and start spinning? Oh, well, you just grab the top of this compressor. Yeah, like this. Well, it was spinning, that's why I was holding it. Uh, but it, it was easy enough for me to just do as I did. What's that? No, that's a uh, that's a uh, and there's the bolt. Victory. Let's see that bolt and look what it did to the uh, cone. Did I get it? Now we're going to open yeah, it doesn't want to take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, gear's been fussing with different designs. It's sort of like, Tommy, I think it's pretty much the best. So there's the ball. Can you break the scene? Well, this is what we did earlier is that we, so we, I don't know where your camera right there is. Yeah. Okay, so this whole piece right here is where we scored it by spinning it. You can see the groove that we've cut into there. And then uh, we just used his homemade tool to pull it right on out. Total time was like five minutes spinning, yeah. pulling. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Spinning yeah. makes you super fast. Yeah. So, can you go, <laughs> so can this you go the, over all the parts of that puller? Yeah, the parts is... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Yeah. No, no, it's totally good. So this is a tap bolt. So I think it's a six inch long tap bolt that goes into here. Uh, and then this is just a regular nut. And then a washer. This is a uh, thrust bearing, so it just makes it super easy to turn. Uh -huh. And it doesn't twist. A little plastic collar that I can give to you. This is an aluminum tube. It looks like this. Yeah. All right, got it. Aluminum tube that you can custom order to whatever length you want. This just happens to be four inch. 
And this I got from Industrial Threaded. This just goes on the other end of the tap bowl. Oh, I just need that. Here, I got one. Oh, yeah. There it we looks go. Like, yeah, there you go. And that's a grade five metal right there, so okay. it won't strip out. So that's did you have so hard to get. I can give you one, though. Okay. I got, I've got a bunch of them. So. Yeah. Uh, did you have them made? No, Industrial Threaded it's sold them to me. You have to bulk okay. order them from them, but uh, when you bulk order them, they're like a buck and a half each. Okay. Can you get them in half inch? Yeah, actually, I have. Well, that is half inch to three inch. Half to three inch. Yeah, I meant, I meant the full half inch uh, wedge. So that has to be like, what, a 9.6? Oh yeah. Um, this one you can get them in any size. This one goes from five eighths to, to uh, down to three eighths. Okay. Total cost. That's what total cost. To you said was like forty-ish bucks. Forty-ish 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Right on. <laughs>